right? I want to start off by saying Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Ko Halala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elders, bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Just here to do a quick lesson, Lord's willing. I pray it's edifying. Um, I know it's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because how this video was actually found or came across. Uh, my lady, my woman, she sent me this uh, video. She said I gotta watch it. And uh, these are these are the videos she liked to watch. You know, on this channel here. And, and it's other channels as well but i think this is one of the channels unspoken crime members because she like watching these videos where israelite women get in trouble with the law especially the black woman because it's mainly the black woman and it shows you really the pride in these women you know the the re rebellious wicked wickedness in these women man you know and i watched a few couple of that she watched so when she sent it to me i said what i'm looking for Give me a timestamp, you know. She gave me a timestamp, and when I watched it, I said, "Oh shit," you know. Um, I said, "Damn." Hopefully, I hope this ain't the brother, brother's wife, brother's wife or something. But I don't know. Um, I'm only making this video for edification purpose. I don't know who this chick is. I'm telling you, just came across uh, my way. Uh, she saw it through that by watching these videos, and she said the name, you know, when she was interrogated. Or being interrogated by the police so I just want to make a few pointers and this is a good lesson to um for us brothers and also for you few sisters that say you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai you know I think this is a very good lesson a good point to bring out you know uh, before I play the video quickly I want to bring out a scripture just in case right and I'm gonna bring out Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. All right. And just, just keep in mind, it says, because thou has rejected knowledge, thou has rejected knowledge. So let me play at the beginning of this and then I'm going to hit the timestamp. Um, you guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We're asking you what money came from the store. Just the hundreds, not the tens inside here. On June 6, 2023, officers from Broward County responded to a call where a Walmart cashier was accused of stealing thousands of dollars from her register. Initially, the scheme involved the cashier shortchanging customers when given large bills netting her $200 to $300 daily. Eventually, the cashier advanced her theft skills, leading to her stealing between $500 and $1,000 each day. I hate this, but we need your help, man. We got this, we have this thing. We have somebody that stole over $5,000. Okay, so, you guys have, yeah, what, today they have? Yeah, it's right, right now, it's an action. Oh. Yes, it's happening right now. So uh, we're doing the exit interview. Person is sitting down right now in the in the office in the office. Okay, waiting. Um, okay, and so the cameras already been rolled. Evidence has already been collected. When officers arrived, two undercover employees at the Walmart devised a plan posing as customers to catch the suspect in the wow. act. The suspect wow. would steal over fifteen hundred dollars in just a few hours of the starting shift. Came back to work. She did something with someone in the parking lot. Okay. All right. All right. So All right. it started. Yes, so why don't you just take her, take, take him to Jennifer? Okay. Right. You, you guys want to press charges though? Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. I'll, I'll wait for my partner to come and then we'll. Oh, okay. Just, all right, cool. Yeah, I had. Uh, I have to stall a little bit longer. Yeah, just... yeah. I had. Uh, I had. Uh, I called Farino. Okay, Farino. Farfino? Farfino, yeah. yeah. He's my buddy, man. So we met. <laughs> so we connected. So we're trying to do this whole thing where. So they operated a sting on her, man. Meaning they, meaning they, they set her up. Because they knew that she was stealing, man. And it shows you that you women are the pride of understanding. When you think you got it, you don't got it. When you think you see, you think you know something, you don't know nothing. It shows you why you women should be up under your men. And listen to your men and trust your men. You know, especially if he's a man of the Lord. Especially if he's a man of the Lord. Either way, whether man of the Lord or not. If you have a husband 
You are to obey your husband. Point blank, period. Look at this, man. I didn't see this part. You know? I didn't see this part. But I wanted to play it from the beginning just to see what was the introduction about. So look at that. They, they pulled the sting on this woman, man. You know? Let me play a little bit more. You know, we, we bring you guys in, not when we got problems, but right, you know, we're gonna do the store over, you know, so we want you guys to be around and just know that, you know, yeah, we, didn't put that. we don't wanna have issues, you know, and, um, but this young lady, which, you know, my boss, who's over it, because me and him, uh, you know, we go from store to store to do investigations and audits, so, so originally on 519, it started with her stealing. She hasn't even been here two months. Woo. So, you know, obviously when a person starts stealing, so that was the first sign. Yeah, so first thing in your shoplifting, not paying for stuff, $200. And then over the past several weeks, our register has been missing, you know, a thousand, two thousand, eighteen hundred. So when they, when people get newly hired, they're allowed access to just work as cashiers? Not normally. They normally, you know, they, they do something else. They're not handling so much cash. And for whatever reason, I guess, you know, people thought she was trustworthy and that we could trust her. And she was, you know, allowed to handle a lot of cash. What's her name? Right. But we have all of that all stuff. Of yeah, all of that stuff is, is, in, the, uh, is in the office. So we got a whole package and stuff. Perfect. All right, so let me bring this scripture out because this is very important. You good? Let me bring this out. This is uh, Proverbs 30 and 9. It says, Least I be full and deny thee and say, Who is Yahweh? Or least I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. And that was King, that was the words of King, the wise wisdom and words of King Solomon, right? Because if she had understanding, which her dude, which we're going to get to that part, her dude uh, knows that he's an Israelite and she knows she's an Israelite, she wouldn't have to steal. You would have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You good? Mm -hmm. she, um, you would have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? And you wouldn't have to steal. You would pray. And whatever the Lord, the scriptures say, cast your burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He will sustain you, you know? But this is what happens when you uh, reject the knowledge of the Lord. So King Solomon said, Proverbs 30 and 9, least I be full and I deny thee. So if you rich, you would deny the most high. What need of the Lord for you? You got everything a man could want, right? So you would therefore would deny the most high, right? That That's that way of uh, having pride. And that's one of the things the most high hate is a, a man with pride or a woman with pride, right? It says, it says, and say, who is Yahweh? Or at least I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. So now you're breaking the law because now you're stealing. You might be stealing from Israelites, you know? Now she thinks she's stealing from Edom and she thinks this thing is okay. But guess what? Now she's, now she done had a sting operation on her. She done got caught red-handed. They accumulated $15,000. I'm pretty sure she got locked up. She got a record. And now how are you going to get a, a, a you know, a, another job with that shit on your record, man? So you done fucked yourself all up, man. You see? So let me go to the timestamp and let that play so I can let you brothers see why I'm actually doing this video. You know? I believe it's... Uh, frustrating because you know I'm an older guy man and you know people see up with FanDuel every swing with the PGA Tour Locking. is a chance to score win on everything from
guys are still together. Yeah. Why? Oh, oh. It's complicated. Yeah? Doesn't look like it's complicated. It looks like you got it all figured out. It's complicated. Yeah? Yeah. Is he messing around? Or he's got you in a trick bag? I can't say messing around because he believes in having multiple lives. Not part of that. What is he, Mormon? He believes in. Are you Muslim? The Most High. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai. Oh, so he's uh, Jewish? Yeah, he's one of them uh, Israelite. Ah. Yeah. So you heard that? And she said it all uh, fluently. Look, Yaha she said Yahweh, Bahashim. Hamashiach Yahawashi. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right. Right? No, I ended things like what, a couple days ago? A couple days ago? Yeah. So what, what does he do for work? Okay. At first, he was selling. Um, now I think he's working at Wingstop. If he still works there, I don't know. Who are you living with then? Now she said he was selling. I don't know what it was that she that because the cop then asked him details. What was he selling? I believe she said selling. But I'm gonna say this: if that that man that caused himself believing in the Lord, if he was selling drugs, if he don't repent, the Lord gonna destroy him. You know, because that shit going off. Now if he was selling clothes or whatever out his trunk, trying to make a living, ain't nothing wrong with that. But if you selling drugs and shit. Then you going off, man. The Lord gonna destroy you unless you repent. You know. So as you heard it, this is why you know I decided to do this video because this is a an example, you know, for you sisters and also for the men, for the men that that believe, you know, the brothers. All right. For one, for brothers, you gotta you gotta know like with your woman, man. You can't put your trust all into your woman. Cause look at this. She's being interrogated because she's in trouble. Why the hell is she even in there talking about him? She's talking about her boyfriend because the cop is asking these questions that he's just being nosy. She she don't have to speak on none of that. She could have kept her mouth closed. You know? She's sitting across from another man and this cop is interrogating her and just asking her these questions and look how open she is. And just telling him, you know, she said he was selling at first and now he work at Wingstop. Uh, he believes in having multiple wives. He's an Israelite. You know, she even said the Most High's name. And if you check the uh, caption at the bottom, they put the they put unknown when she said Yahweh Bahashim Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, and he's up here, you know, easily extracting information from her. You know what this makes me think of going back to the garden with uh, the serpent and Eve. All right, and how he was able to beguile her. Because why? The woman is the weaker vessel. She had no business talking about her dude in here. He's not the, he's, he has nothing to do with her stealing. Well, far as, for what I can see. I haven't watched the whole full video. So I don't know, but she's bringing him up because he's asking these questions. But she could have denied it. I don't want to talk. She ain't got to bring that. She ain't got to tell this nigga that. She ain't got to tell this cop nothing. Right? Another thing is to you women. She says she broke it off with him. Right? And now look at it. She in the world of hell. Because why? If, if he believes in Yahweh Ba'ashim HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai, I will hope that he's following the ways of the Lord and sincerity and truth. And this is a woman that has a problem with him having multiple wives. And I'm going to say this. In my humble opinion, I believe she agreed on, on the fact that she can say the name so fluently. And she also mentioned being with him for roughly a good two years. And then she said, I don't, when he asked her about the cheating, she said she couldn't, she can't call it cheating. Why? Because why? He got multiple women. He might got another woman he dealing with and she ain't too fond of him. So even herself believed that it's not actually cheating. So let me say this. If she made prayers and called on to the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? And being with this man for about two years, isn't that an agreement of believing in the Lord and, and, and uh, coming under, or let me say, tasting of the heavenly gift, right? Or or should I say, putting her hand to the plow? That's in better words. 
if she make prayers to Yahweh Bashim Hamashiach Yahweh Shai and being in agreement with her dude that believes in Yahweh Bashim Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, isn't that her putting her hand to the plow? So now for her to renege and feel some type of way, and that's how all these women do because they're prideful and they think that they can do whatever they want. There's always the consequences. There's always consequences in the actions you take. And when it comes to the Lord, if you don't repent, the Lord going to judge you for all the sins that you committed. Sin is transgression of the law. All right. Scriptures tell us in Baruch 4, the law abideth forever. So even though right now we have grace through our Lord Yahweh, the importance is that we are asking the Lord for repentance. We're seeking after Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, which is his face. Right. And we're hoping that we're part of the elect to be forgiven of our sins. See, the Lord had number two thirds to the sword, man. All right, it's a big difference, man. Now, by keeping the law, because I must say this, because it's a stumbling block to some, by keeping the law, is that going to save us? No, because we can't keep all the laws. So therefore, we rehearse the righteous acts and keep the laws to the best of our abilities, the ones we can keep. We know that the law ain't, ain't going to save us, but what's going to save us is faith and grace through our Lord Yahweh Right? So you have to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. You have to show yourself, uh, 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 you have to give your due diligence. Scriptures say make your calling and election sure. Right? Um, am thinking about a scripture real quick. I want to bring this out. And this is uh, the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and 14 if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and i will forgive their sin and i will heal their land all right so the lord said if my people which are called by my name which is yasha allah all right israel in the english and yasha allah in the hebrew it says, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. So you're supposed to seek the, the ways of the Lord. Keep the commandments and precepts, right? Then will I hear from heaven and I will, for, I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. But this woman right here, she reject knowledge. She reject the truth because she reject him having another woman. That's your fault, all right? According to the Lord in the Bible, we can have multiple wives. A man can have multiple wives. But according to this European society that you're living in, this slavery, this devil tell you, no, you know, you can't. You can only marry one woman. All right? But not according to the Bible. So who's right or wrong? Is God right or who they call God? Is the Bible, let me say this. Is the, is the Bible right or is, or is the white man right? You answer the question. Is the Bible right or is the white man right that established these laws, these unrighteous decrees? You know? I'm back in my mom's house right now. I'm, I was trying to get my life back in order, so I was back at her house. You're trying to press fast forward on that to get a life back together? Yes, is that exactly what happened? That's what happened. opinion why why I, I think she's saying it's complicated is because she understands that she understands the, the Bible she understands you know what her, her dude she call her boyfriend really her husband and what he believes in and what she believes in all right you know because so, a lot of times you know these women they pick and choose out the Bible what they believe in they wrap their hair you know oh I could do that 
you know, or they wear tire, you know, with skirts and things like that. I could do that. But then when it comes to certain things, they can't do. They can't, they, they can't agree with, with the scriptures. I really believe, in my humble opinion, she's saying it's complicated because she knows she can't remarry. She can't go out here and be with another man, all right, according to the Bible. She knows that. That's why she's saying it's complicated, you know, because what, what, why would it be complicated? Let your yay be yay or your nay be nay. Either you with him or you not, you know? Why are you telling this cop that it's complicated? And you the one with the problem, you know, upset about him having another woman. It looks like it's complicated. It looks like you got it all figured out. It's complicated. Yeah? Yeah. Is he messing around? Or he's got you in a trick bag? I can't say messing around because he believes in having multiple wives. I'm just not part of that. What is he, Mormon? He believes in... He's Muslim. The Most High. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh, B'Shem, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai. Hmm. Oh, so he's uh, Jewish. You know how hard it is for just somebody that don't believe to say that? And to say it fluently like that, Yahweh Bahashim HaMashiach Yahweh Shai. That means she said that name a whole bunch of times. That is rolling off her tongue. Because most people can't remember how to pronounce that like that. This is what makes me believe that she did believe, or she do believe, but she just don't agree with certain things. That makes you wicked, all right? That shows you that you ain't right. You ain't sincere. You know? You can't just pick what you want and choose. Pick what you want to choose in the Bible and agree with what you want and then and then throw out everything else that you don't agree with. You know? Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right. Right? I ended things like what a couple days ago. Couple days ago. And the fact that she said she ended things a couple days ago. Who is you to be divorcing your your husband? You know. And now look at it. And I'm a you know I'm a close man. This 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 is an example man. Now look at her. Court stealing fifteen thousand dollars. Had a whole operation sting upon her. People coming in there acting like they secret shoppers. Meanwhile they get catching her red handed man. You know. And she in the world of hell looking stupid, you know? So, you know, that's basically all I got, man. I just wanted to do a quick, 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 uh, quick two cent, quick lesson on it, I guess you want to call it. It's just, it's a lesson to be learned, man. You know, it's just, uh, uh, be sincere in this thing. And you can't pick and choose what you want in the scriptures, you know? And also, too, for you sisters that call yourself leaving your men, the men that believe in the Lord, well, guess what? Even leaving the men that in the world, you know, and you go out here being with somebody else, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not. You're going to be judged. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom.